Thanks for tuning in to Dynamo Vim. On this episode of Dynamo Shorts, we're going to use new notes within Dynamo for Revit 2025 to select elements from a linked document. We're then going to use a rhythm node to copy in those linked elements. Let's go ahead and get started. You can see today I am in the structural sample model in Revit 2025 and I'm going to copy in the scope boxes from the architectural sample file. I've created a view here where only the architectural model is visible so that it's a little bit easier for me to see. I also have Dynamo open here and the very first thing that we need to do is install that custom package rhythm. You can see I already have Monocle installed. Monocle is a fantastic extension. We'll use that in a bit. I'm going to come up to the package drop down or packages, go to the package manager, search for the rhythm package and install that. Hit OK a few times and we can see here that it is installed in a flash and in my library we can now see Rhythm is installed. Once again, we're going to need Rhythm to copy in those linked elements. So the very first thing that we need to do outside of installing Rhythm, of course, is to grab the linked instance. Whatever instance that we need to, we're actually going to provide an input to our user to specify a portion of the Revit linked name so that they can essentially narrow down that list of Revit links. We can see in the sample file, just going back to the project browser, that there are quite a few. The one that we want to use is the one that contains the word architectural. I'm going to go ahead and grab the current document. So document.current and get link oh goodness if I can actually type there get link instances from that document so you can see document output to the input of document because I have this on automatic run or left it really on automatic run with my new canvas you can see that I get all six of those link instances go ahead and create a group I like to keep this nice and clean per usual call this linked instances because at this point this is where I want to allow my user to start to filter down this list and in order to do that I want to go ahead and get the names of these elements in this case the link instances and we can see here that it provides a nice clean list here I want to ask these strings what they contain or whether they contain really a value that I specify so that would be my string value the element name and I'm going to give my user a string make sure that this is actually specified right click and is input there and they're going to go ahead and search for whatever word that they're using for. I want to go ahead and give it a default value of architectural goodness and update the name here to specify unique portion of linked instance name and that way my user will know that they need to specify at least just a portion that is unique to that specific Revit link that they're trying to copy elements from. Go ahead and create this as a group. These are groups inputs that I like to make as pink groups here. It already has a title so I don't need to update the title there. And now at this point you can see it gives me a list of booleans as an output trues and falses hopefully at this point I only have one true value right it was unique with what I specified there and now I can go ahead and filter by boolean mask 
the string dot contains being my mask and my link instances being my list that I'm filtering. And we should just have one once again because we have one true value, one in value, which means that it passed the tests of that mask. Go ahead, once again, create a nice little grouping here. Filtered link instances. Alrighty, now that I have the link instance that I would like to copy from, I can go ahead and get the elements of the category that I want to copy. So to do this, I want to grab the link instance dot all elements of category. And you can see here, this is looking for the link instance. That can be the in value. And the category is going to be a category, once again, an input here that I allow my user to specify. So once again, nice pink group here showing that it is an input. Once again, I made that a right click and is input. That consistent with the other paint. I'll also update the title of the node here just to, to show my user that they need to specify the category of elements to copy. That will be my category here. I'll drop down to scope boxes and we should see all of the scope boxes, in this case three scope boxes from the architectural file that I have filtered down to. Now at this point I want to once again use rhythm to copy those link elements. So you can see if I type in copy, it actually comes up immediately, copy elements from linked document. Now monocle is really fantastic, a little drop down here where I can use the package usage doge, <laughs> doggy, depending on how you want to say it there, to pin the custom package name and version to this node so that automatically my user knows this comes from Rhythm version 2024.5.5. I'll go ahead and make this a group here that is orange showing that it is actually a transaction that's going to occur here. Copy linked elements. And before I wire this up, I'm going to go ahead and switch to manual so that I specify to Dynamo when to run. Now at this point here I know that these are my elements that I want to copy and the source instance would be the list that I've filtered down to. It additionally is looking for the source document and right click to search once again and type in link instance document and this will allow me to pull the link instrument in source document from that filtered list that I've pulled. I'll go ahead once again for clean sake make this a group here and I'll save the script before I run it just in case I need to force quit or something went fatally wrong that Revit crashes source document and elements and once again I'll go ahead and save this here so file save as this is going to be my final elements from link now I call it elements from link because it can copy any category of elements. It's not confined to necessarily the scope boxes from any link that my user specifies. 
So at this point, you can see my list of scope boxes before I run this is just two of them from my structural model here. And when I run, I should have three more. It shows me that this ran successfully, gave me those three elements. And if I drop down my scope boxes now, we can see that we have three additional scope boxes to pick from. You may want to output some information to the user in terms of what happened here. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll flatten the list. Okay, turn this on to automatic for the time being again. Gives me a flattened list of elements. Can once again ask for their name. And I'll create a list from these two that I can output. But before I do, I want to transpose this list. And when I do that, we will see that each of those elements will become part of the same grouping of lists, right? So it tells me element and its ID number and its name. I can then output to my user a watch node. Expand this a little bit for myself if I need to, to say copied elements from link. If you want, you can also output the link instance uh, name and ID in terms of what was copied from. That might be something beneficial just so that if there's any errors uh, the user knows, you know, maybe they weren't unique with their name. I do create uh, my groupings for outputs or reporting in gray. And once again, I'll just say copied elements. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks again. Need help with Dynamo workflows you've seen on Danemo BIM? or any other Dynamo training or assistance, our sponsor, BIMXT Network, has you covered. Send an email with your requests as well as your contact information to info at cadmicrosystems.com. In addition, BIMXT Network holds meetings to bring together bright, curious, engaging people across various disciplines and countries to exchange design and construction technology ideas. BIMXT Network hosts presentations virtually through the online platform as well as in person at locations along the East Coast. For information about the BIMXT Network, please make sure you go to LinkedIn and search for the BIMXT Network group. By joining this group, you'll get information about upcoming meetings, information about previous meetings, including links to the recordings of those meetings, as well as any information about meetings that could be happening near you.